No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. The important thing is that we're here, right? Do you have many clients? A few. I help to ease their anxiety. Get my hands been off, thin enough, hard-working enough. I reassure those who find the system too difficult. I'm like a safety valve that keeps society from imploding. Having some trouble? Didn't your mother ever warn you about accepting gifts from strangers? <laughs> To Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I rent it to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> To be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit-chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Hold on. This might sting him. <laughs> Have you ever noticed, as soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling? I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. <laughs> Hello, sir. I come to bring you the word of the Lord in the form of these magnificent Bibles, which I will gladly leave with you in return for a contribution of only five dollars. No thanks, I love it. Come now, brother. I cannot believe the word of the Lord is of no interest to you. We, his humble flock, should walk in his steps, for St. John has said... Uh, thanks a lot, but I don't need anything. Who does not need a Bible in these times of violence and hatred? Holy Scripture will bring you peace and tranquility anytime you need it. All for mere five dollars. No Bible for me. Buzz off. Sorry, I detest being interrupted when I'm operating. Now then, where were we? Do you believe it? There are some days when I seem to be the most popular dog in town. Uh, two seconds, and then I'm all yours. Uh, 
The Lord has decided to make a special effort with you, brother. He wants me to let you have this magnificent volume for a mere three dollars. All right. You convinced me. Let me step inside. Just give me a moment, and I'll get your three dollars. Sorry about that. My next appointment has arrived a little early. But don't worry, we have just enough time to finish you off. Don't be afraid. We'll make our last presents together excruciatingly memorable. <laughs> I'll find you, Sean. I swear I'll find you. I'm sorry, Sean. I did what I thought was right. Where are you, Sean? I'm not a killer. I'm not a killer. I couldn't. I couldn't kill that man. He was a father like me. I had no right to take his life, not even to save my sons. No news from Madison. Strange girl. I wonder what she's up to. Cops! Shit! Gotta find a way out. They've come to get me. Can't get out that way. The balcony might just be able to jump to the next one. I've got to take the last origami figure. It's the only way to find my son. If they get their hands on me, I'll have no hope of saving Sean. The phone? That's weird. No one else knows I'm here apart from Madison. It's bound to be a trap. They're trying to get me over by the telephone. I should get that. Could be Madison. Who's calling me? Who even knows I'm here? Better not answer that. Cops! Shit! Gotta find a way out. Could try to escape past the cops in the lobby. Might be worth a shot. If they get their hands on me, I'll have no hope of saving Sean. I'm surrounded. I might as well give myself up. Hello?
Lieutenant. I got him. My son's gonna die! You gotta save him! Please! Save my son! I beg you, you're his last chance. Save my son.